Hello everybody, welcome back to the SB Game Fun Channel. Got another Starfield episode for you today. Welcome back. We are right back where we left off on, I believe, Vectera on the, uh, I don't know where Vectera is, but we had just completed a fight here with the, uh, the Argos Mining Company with the, uh, I don't know who it was, Crimson people or something, hold on. It's a Crimson Pirates. And we did a search of the facility and we're getting ready to hop on the ship and take off. And I think, uh... You going? Yeah. Staying around isn't helping us out any. Yeah, and Barrett's gonna stay Get back. Artifact to Constellation. Yes, sir. Um, we did make some adjustments. I did make some adjustments. Actually, quite a bit. Um, I'm running a 1070. And I was having some really, really uh, horrible graphics. I mean, I, I, it looked to me like bad graphics issue in, in the shadow. So I went in there and cranked everything up to, to medium and, and look at the results. I, I mean, I got some really nice, I mean, obviously this is not a 3080, not a high-end rig, but that's still very nice looking. So I got, I got decent results here. So I'm gonna stay with this what I got here. So it, if it doesn't meet your standard, that's fine too. I know there are a lot of 4K players and a lot of players playing high, much more, running much uh, fancier rigs and stuff like that. So yeah, go for it. Whatever floats the boat, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go with uh, Mr. Vasco here. Is it Va Vas? What is his name? Vas Protocol Indigo is in effect. All right, Vasco. I'm also, I also, I'm going to try to minimize, um, I know people like, uh, I mean, I love, I love lore. If I can read it, I'll read it. But I, I find that to, that, that can be very, I mean, a whole show could be devoted to just talking heads on screen. So I have to try to, you know, balance that somehow with, uh, gameplay, discovery, exploration, and storyline and lore. Captain, I'll guide you as best I can. Thank you, thank you, Vasco. Okay, so we need to now go. What do we need to do? How do we do this? So this is our our main screen. Our character. What is this? This is Vectera. What is this? Whoa. Okay, so we're on Vectera Moon of Asalon. And this is the uh, this is the planet. Okay, how do we let me tab? There we go. So there we are on this uh, system. I don't know even know what system this is, doesn't say. Is that right? Designation ne Narion. So I take that's the Narion system. Okay. Let's go back in here. Whoops. Um, okay, so this is the screen, and this is... What is this? This is... You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge, and then spend the skill point to rank up the skill. Yeah, I, I've been watching some um, gameplay that shows how this works, and uh, it forces—it's it's not forces, but it's involving the player, getting the player involved in the actual leveling process uh, of ranking the um, the skills. So they give you a skill, and then you have to pass a challenge or something like that. All right, so we understand that. Um, so these are the three, the ones that we have. Fitness. Use. Use up all available oxygen twenty times. Then there's social. Combat. And what we came with our character is uh, is um, ballistics. There's science. I think this is one of the ones I want to get. Uh, is it this one or this one? Tech. Oh, we already got tech. 
boost pack rating so we can boost jump 10 times while in combat but in here is where we ballistic weapon systems piloting security which one is security with the standardized digital locking mechanism it is renowned for security the code can be broken with the so I think this is it right here unlock hack hack advanced locks and two auto attempts can be banked so this is one we need to get but we haven't gotten any skill points and down here is our inventory so we have what appears to be two guns is it oh we got a bunch of guns holy cow okay hold on oh wow why do I think this is I think this is the number we have we have a bunch of guns yeah we need to get rid of some of this stuff Boy, I need to get to a a store or a restaurant. A restaurant. <laughs> I was gonna say restaurant. Need to get to uh, a a uh, what you call it? Gosh, a vendor so we can sell stuff. All right, so let's um let me get out. Escape. Okay. Oh, I don't even. Was there a mission journal? Was there a journal? Uh, I think this is it right here. Yes. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand all the list of open, of open objectives. Select an objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective so there are similarities to what um, Skyrim did I think there is it's a whole mixed bag of stuff um, from what I've seen from stuff from Fallout stuff from uh, Skyrim mix and blended together the best I think a lot of it is uh, some of the best stuff I think but let's see how they employ it or deploy it and uh, let's see how I pick it up because I don't We'll see. Okay. So right now here we have one. Whoa! We have one stop. One small step. So we need to take this. Oh, so that's that's how you activate it and act deactivate it. There we go. Okay, so that's our quest area. So that's showing the dot. Okay, hold on. Man, is that it? Okay, so. I think there was another thing over here. Nope. I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, so. In the ship here. There's a. There was storage. I don't remember exactly where I remember. Re okay, that's a research. I think it was in the cockpit. Okay, here it is. The Learned Astronomer. Wow, this is really nice the way they did this. This is see so now as you can see the graphics is much better than what it was before. Cause my first game I really I I, I, I played it pretty low because I wanted to see how it would perform. I could have tested some more before that, but I didn't realize how how much my card can hold up and my card right now is holding up fairly well cargo hold there we go gosh I don't remember this did I, did I dump all the stuff in here and so in here we can change inventory I think if we press Q we can go from our inventory to the ship's inventory right there so um, can we dump all of this in there? Yeah, I guess we can. There we go. But we really, oops, you know what? Let me check a look and see how much. Um, see how much. Uh, um, We are carrying. Oh, there it is. Mass. So I'm trying to remember all the details, man. 
go for a week and okay so let's get back in let's get back into the ship all right pull this clunker together shields ready the rest is up to you oh one more thing i got her i gotta get up okay how do you get okay good i gotta hold remember hold these things hold these buttons down Okay, um, my brother mentioned to me something. Okay, I don't see it here. Let me take a look in here. I hear fireworks. Oh, there it is. Good. Ship parts. He said, don't have those ship parts on you. They're, they're supposed to be on the ship. You should put them in the ship cargo because that's how repairs happen. If you put them on you, you can't repair it. And he said they're heavy too. So they are where they are supposed to be. Okay. Come on. Holy cow. What was going on there? All right, so let's uh, let's take off. Oh man, this is that's so sensitive. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay, so hold the left alt and use the WASD to switch between systems and allocate power my brother my, my brother's my resource he says not to use that he said just use the arrow keys <laughs> it's right here so use the arrow keys to go left and right and up and down to redistribute um, where you're where you want to redistribute um, so I think we're gonna leave it the way it is there Hold the left but I will Holy cow, what in the Each world? system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Okay, I can't. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that mm. goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Thank you, Try Bosco. To center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. So that's, I don't know if you can see it, but that's right in the spot right there. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. It's the left shift to boost. Turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay, so that's that's what you see in the lower right. The little squigglies floating around. I don't need the engines that high. Whoa. You've huh. proven an adequate pilot. Uh, adequate Are you pilot. familiar with ship combat tactics? Because oh. that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Okay, let's bring up the speed. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry like is particularly effective. Like Freelancer. 
Where's my missiles? Look, it's G. There you go. Yes. This kind of plays like a freelancer. On surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other oh. salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Did I get it? Remains. I think I did. Fly close to what? I think I did, people. Oops. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our oh. location, Captain. very sensitive okay so I'm not even paying attention to what I say <laughs> okay so let's do tab to get into the menu and travel to Crete so let's um how do we get this there we go okay it's on the other planet so let's select it can select that okay X set course and then X to travel we have arrived in orbit the abandoned facility with our crimson fleet captain is Gosh. on the surface the control airship controls are so sensitive. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna slow down to crawl here. I need to test a few things. I know that you can do first person on land. Can we do the yes? Mouse wheel takes you in and out. Oh man, that is so. Okay, let's stay inside here. Okay. Uh, we need to land. Is that our tar our highlight? And then there's an R for our open. Plan of View Star Map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and help you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet. And to the Crete Research Lab, map icon is in view. Then select the map icon to land there. Okay, so that's 
That's that's the map of the resources. So I guess at some point in time we'll be able to mine and or set up uh, I guess outposts. I think that's what I remember on these sites here and and mine the resources. But for this for today we're gonna hop inside here uh, and land. Is that right? There we go. the facility right over there I can see it right above the system right here let's exit the, the airship Vasco hey I like this oh wait a minute I haven't even switched over new guns yet so we got a maelstrom. We got four of them. So let's. Okay, hold on. This is a lot like Skyrim. So if I can, I can favorite this. Yes. And I come over here and favorite this. Make it number two. A dis, a disassembler solstice. This is a negative 10, this is a negative, okay, that's, okay, this Eon looks a little bit better. I uh, don't need both of those, so I'll just use one rescue axe as my final weapon of need. I'll just throw it in nine for now. And I got, oh my gosh, I'm carrying around five cutters. Do I need to have the cutter? Okay, hold on here. There's, there's some, there's a couple features. I think it said F to scan. Scan features, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data on the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Okay, so we are in here. My brother mentioned this. He goes scan and scan often if I can. And how do you scan here? Oh, that's how you scan. You just kind of walk up to it and shoot it. Hold on here. There's not something else over here. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Can I mine that? Is that a mineral? Yes. How do I mine that? Oh, right. That's a left mouse button. Cool. Scan. Oops. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on here. So this is the confusion. F to, to open up the scanner. The hand scanner. And an E to scan. And then left mouse button to bring up the cutter. According to Whoa. the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Oh, I like the space. Oh, look at that. What is that? What is that? Scan? Can I scan? It's a trilobite. Really? These creatures, they say, possibly roam the earth? Not. Okay. Okay, how do I switch out? Oh, no, that's not it. Take the, oh, yeah, there you go. So I can switch between... Oh, look at that! It's my waypoints or my uh, my uh, clairvoyance. 
clairvoyant skill. Okay, so that dot right there, deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. That's my, where I, we need to go. Man. Half hour shows are not going to be working for this. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's a Crete Stalker. Can I scan it? Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Oh, that's a Crete Stalker. Can I scan you? I have the scanner up, man. I was out of range. I couldn't scan it. Okay, so... Let's uh, take the scanner off. No, I'm gonna leave it on until I actually need to turn it off. Okay. Yeah, this is a couple buttons there. That's confusing. I mean, I can. I'm. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna stop and scan everything. Can you, buddy? I'm backing off. Hold your horses. I scanned you. So let's see how he does. Enemy detected in the immediate vicinity. Whoa. So they went underground. They can burrow, and just like that, I get, I get, I get nutrients, hide, and fiber tissues. Let's reload. Oh, I'm, n I'm never going to enter the base, man. Doing this. Okay, let's. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Oh my gosh. All right, so. Still trying to familiarize myself with the keys here. You know, I may have to do some offline playing to pick this, a lot of this stuff up. Hold on. Okay, gosh. So I can't scan it right up front. I mean, uh,. I mean, I can scan it if it's right in front of me, but if it's far away... The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller, independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Thank you, sir. Oh, man, this is going to be some serious exploration here. Something unknown, almost um, a thousand meters away. I got, I mean, I, if I do this to 45 minutes, maybe an hour episodes, I might be able to eke out something, but half an hour is not going to, not going to do it for this uh, game. Boy, this uh, planet has some really light gravity. Is there anything over here? Bosco, Mr. Bosco. I hard way to get a jetpack. Okay, let's uh, let's get this thing off. Okay, did I reload? Yes, I did. Okay, wait a minute. Wasn't that my flashlight? Okay, long press for a flashlight. There's, that's 
see already a problem. If I become very obsessed, I'm gonna pick up everything and then I'm gonna be out of space. I'm gonna be out of space real fast. Oh my gosh. Where's the sweet rolls? Look at that. Settler vested out vested outfit. Why would I wear a settler vested outfit? Okay, this is my third third person. Check a look at inventory real quick. What is this? Is it here? Minor Settler vested outfit. Oh, so I can actually wear something on the inside. Is that what it is? Hey, that's not bad. What is this? Argo extractor with my with my white tennis shoes? No. Nah. And that looks weird. So let's do that one. Oh, but I lose thermal. That it has. It weighs a little less, but both of these gives me increased thermal. Okay, let's let's keep these. Uh, even though this looks nice, I lose thermal. Okay, back out. Ninety-four mass, so I'm getting I'm getting there. All right, so let's head in. Yes. Holy cow. Man, it puts me right in the middle of the floor here. I could have been shot to death. Notepad, books. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. So the UC are creating facilities in Freestar ammo airspace or territory. Seaweed mini bite. Oh my gosh. I can pick up a chair. Pick up a chair. A hammer. Cube. These all have value, so I could probably sell it. I need to pick up something that. Oh, there's even food here. Is that food? Empty. Oh, it's empty. Okay, so there's nothing there. A little nervous there, folks. Bunch of canisters. mugs oh and another thing my brother mentioned uh, make sure you pick up magazines there's a magazine here so there's some um, stuff that will boost your skills or something like that so I got to make sure I look for magazines don't know what they look like but we'll find out See, if you look at, okay, I, wanna, I am crouching right now, but I don't see the eye like I would in Skyrim where I'm sneaking. So I think, hold on, I need to either, it, it has to be activated, I guess, right? Is this in science? Combat? Social? 
physical. There it is. Still stealth. I don't have any skill points, so I can't put anything in there. Okay, so we'll have to make our way there. Risk a little. What the heck is that? It's a heat leech. Warning. Enemy activity detected. Thank you for the obvious statement, Mr. Vasco. Okay. I guess I can stand up a little bit. See anyone yet? Ammo. A crimping tool. Genetic sample bottle. I mean, gosh, there's there's a ton of stuff here. Do I pick this stuff up? I'm already out of cred sticks. I think that's money. Come on, dude. Did you pick? Okay, this is the new. I think I, I saw that on the first episode. The new lock picks. So hopefully there'll be a lot of those lying around as well. All right, let's keep going. thinking about it. shoots me from behind. Oh, look, there's a body in here. Dude, the guy has 346 credits on him. Another 140 in there and sealants. The heck is the sealant? Okay, I'm gonna have to stop for everything. Miscellaneous. Okay, so new items. Sealant. Common organic resource. So this is a resource. Same with the seaweed. No, the seaweed's not. Seaweed's a health. Restores health. Okay. History of Xenobiology. Oh my gosh, I could be reading this. These are lore. History of Xenobiology. The first several chapters of Lars Nielsen's work seems to focus primarily on the digestive system of alien herbivores. The dissection of Dr. Lord's latest find reveals a creature that was, just as he, she suspected, based on its outward appearance, an evolution of the microscopic hydrothermal worm, but her research also suggested a species that evolved in distinct stages, possibly growing dis uh, significantly as it did. So the question now remains which version of the creature did Dr. Lord dissect? And what ma maximum size could it possibly achieve? The subsequent passage deals with Nielsen's fascination with the predatory wildlife of some unnamed world. Okay. I hope there's a lot. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain there's going to be a lot of those. I'm going to try to minimize my reading if I can. Because if I don't, I will end up spending most of my time reading. And I don't know if that is going to be... I mean, it's great for lore and stuff, and I would love that. But that really significantly... Lows the pace of the game down. Anything in here, folks? Uh, 
I'm paranoid. So if it's like my 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 play in Skyrim, I'd be pulling out my bolts right about now with my uh, my bow and arrow or something. No, don't do that. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Turn off the flashlight. water. I'll take that. Maybe it's for food. Water. Synth meat. Synth meat multi. Ooh. These are all health things. There are people on the other side. They can clearly see my flashlight. is an amp. Amp is a steroid based performance enhancer designed to temporarily boost leg strength. So 35% movement speed. See this is all the stuff that I, I got in not Skyrim but in games like Outer Worlds. You know all these enhancers that I never use. So now I gotta wonder whether or not I should pick them up. So it's stuff that I'm I may use, but most likely I won't. Pie right there. How many are there? I think I see two. Yeah, there's two. Let's take. Let's go ahead and take them down. Oh, reload, reload, buddy. Vasco, what are you doing? Holy cow, that homeboy's got a laser. Scanning, sir. Chuckle Labs. Dude, see that guy? He came charging right at me with a with a with an axe. Okay, there's nobody here, so let's loot up. Wine glass. I don't need a wine glass. It's gonna fill my mochi. Oshi brand Maru Marumochi snacks. Restores five health. I'll take it. Oh, come on, dude. What are you doing? Already I can see problems. Companion just walk into you. Ooh, weapons. Dead guy. Med pack. Take the med pack. Anything? Anything else? What is 
door here. Oh, it's a toilet. Might find some bottle caps. Oh, what the heck did I just pick up? Oh my gosh. The Pickwick Papers. Oh my gosh, do I need to... Should I read this? Oh lord, it's gonna take me forever. Okay, hold on, real quick. I picked up a antib antibiotics, that's what it was. Treats infections. Oh my gosh, see I can tell right now, there's, there's so much stuff. I need to remember. Pickwick Papers. Alright, there it is, folks. I'll let you folks read it. You can pause it. Oh my gosh. I, I would I would love to read it, but I need to keep the game moving. Because this is not a live stream. I need to... Come on, buddy. Go. Oh my gosh. So it's just like, in many ways, like Skyrim. And I think I see something down there. No, that isn't anything. Sky. watching videos over there so let's see if we can search the rooms here real quick oh come on stand up oh look at that a terminal caseless shotguns food oh my gosh it's gonna it's gonna burn 10 minutes here let's let's do it real quick if we can Oh my gosh, I'm going to be reading for the rest of the episode. New Beginnings. Hayden Wynn. I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Sino Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mast. But it's, a, it's long overdue. And I get to be part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician. And I ship out in three days. Amanda is upset, but I assured her I have plenty of, of leave and will be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. That new beginnings. Okay, let's go down the list here. Candidate 1, Hayden Wynn. February 6, 2306, we got our first extraterrestrial candidate today that ha uh, what appears to be an alien form of Leucoji Venusta. Essentially a giant spider. M Mickelson, Michelson, or how you, however you pronounce it, is in full protective gear attempted to attach a neural control interface, NCI. Our security de detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon and we had no choice but to put down the creature a minor setback none of us expected success on the first try I heard dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday ash ashta specimen Hayden win May 5th 2306 I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's, it's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and, it, and natural predator. Those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities. And the essential to the work we're doing here is that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Freestar Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard, though it does beg the question, have Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, 
our timetable just got accelerated. So they're both sides are utilizing Xeno warfare, or it appears to so. Trial failure. May 7th, 2306, and it fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta, have been completely dispelled. Okay, so they're not. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined that the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that it wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to the synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chen's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. Whoa! In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov. Kasarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. More disappointment. Uh, 20, May 12, 2306, another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things are so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Raptane's Ven 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 Venenum. Venenum. I don't know how to pronounce that. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. New specimen. July 6th of 2306. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropods. Alien equivalent of Hom Homerus gamerus. Basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the, U where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagined. After a third of the fourth or fourth success, unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled by, with any reliability. As noted in many earlier logs, these natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself into the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggression, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable, capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened, and when they do on the, go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. Relocation. We're moving, packing up shop and transitioning. The entire operations is happening so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods have been successful. We're actually relocating to their home world. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her not being there. Um, I'll give Mickelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass brass know that it was my working my work tuning the a neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod i guess paulson is being forced to retire the riddance and that's it for this terminal wow how much oh yeah we burned like five five minute minutos and we're out of time man we're just going to finish looting here and i have to figure out what i'm going to do I want to take this. How far I want to take this? Because this is a lot. Of, I, mean, I could spend hours just looting, searching, and and I would have not progressed anything. Did you pick? Yay! Meal pack, celery, There's celery, blue lab outfit. Take it. Okay, I saw something else over here. Yes, here's the unlock. Okay, there's a unlock. Fill in all spots, open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key 
To fill in the gaps, each key can only be used once. Okay, so let's do this and then maybe we'll spend another five. Oh my, my gosh, this might be another five minutes. Um, so we need to slot these things here, right? So is that, that correct? Can we tab? Oh! Okay, let's go back. Tab is not it. Okay. I don't see. Okay, maybe this is right there. Do I click on it? Yes, I do. And that can go right there. So that's a top ring, top ring, top ring. I'm looking for the one at the bottom. That's too wide. Can I put it right there? Yes. Can I put it right there? I can put it right there, but at least three on the other side, which I can see already. On the next one, it won't work. So I need to be able to switch this to the bottom. Yes, there we go. So top, top, there, and there. So that seems pretty easy, straightforward. And I know it gets more complicated, and I know there are some advantages if you get the features and the perks in this in the luck picking skill sets, and it hopefully will make it easy for you to unlock. But knowing my knowing my luck, I probably won't do very well either. Um, pick up another Bastion or Eon. Um, these are all what is this? Resources, common manufactured components. Yep, these are resources for making stuff, crafting. All right, that was our first box. That was our first box or our first lock pick. trying to rush here because I know I'm down on time chunk chocos chunk chocos I have no idea what that is what is a blender base okay I'll take that it looks high-tech so maybe I'll I can use it for something oh my gosh I'm gonna pick up everything Multi-pack as a meal. Battle meal. Food. Always looking for food. Cuts and wounds. Okay, that's bandages. I don't want a tape measure. 0.27 caliber ammo. Is that, a, is that an egg? A square egg, really? Battle pack meal. No, oh, this door's blocked to us. Uh oh. I saw the light. Do you guys see the light? See, I see something glowing. Caseless shotgun shells. Yep. I take it. Med pack. Oops. Did I pick it up? Oh, I didn't. I was, I was pressing scan. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's reload. There's people out here. Gosh, he got away.
Oh, I just leveled. Got a skill point. Come on. Vasco, where were you? You're supposed to protect me, you. Okay. I've hit my hour mark, and I think this might be it for me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to end it in the middle of combat. Hazmat suit. I guess there were people in here laughing. Planetary system. Oh my gosh, it's worth 240 simoleons. Let's pick it up. That was right behind me. Bandit deep back, circle back. Oh, he's on the balcony. He's on the balcony. Balcony. Balcony above us. Holy cow. Oh. I got caught. He spotted me. I think I need to clear this room before I... There we go. Go, Vasco, go. It is a shame exploration requires so much bloodshed. There you are. I see him up there. Oh my gosh, I got hit. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a quick loop. Let's loot. Oh, look. Another heat leech. Oh my gosh, there's a dead scientist right here. And of course, he left a crap load of coinage. Somebody over here. Okay. Let's come back here. Oh, looks like this must have been where the beast came out of. The, hey, is the video somewhere around here? The video they were watching. They were standing over here looking for something. Watching a video and laughing at someone being ripped apart by some terror morph thing. Okay, let's keep looking. What is that? Oh my gosh, I'm over. Uh, another dead scientist. Like that. Eon, ammo. There's another computer here. Oh my gosh, we are so. We are so screwed on. On, on time on this game. Oh my gosh, it's another dead scientist. Nutrients and fiber.
Holy cow. Man. I'm not checking my my corners. Let's come back here. Pick up that oh. It's worth money. I'm leaving stuff behind. I can tell you right now. I'm leaving stuff behind is going to... I'm picking up all this other stuff too. Is it of any value? Okay, hold on. Let's take a quick look. Aid. Okay, these... Yeah, they do provide some form of health. I can eat this stuff, right? Oh, worms. Spicy worms. No, I don't. I don't want to eat it simply because it'll give me health. Ramen. Mochi. Dude, I'm almost fully health. Yep, I guess it does give you... You have to eat quite a bit, though. I mean, that's probably filled up my gut right there, all that food I ate. Oh yes, new weapon. I will take. Oh, they must have been experimenting on the heat leeches. Health, drink pack. Running while encumbered. Oh no, I'm encumbered. Oh. Yes, I'm over. So, what can I drop? Holy nuts! Pirate spacesuit. Oh, when did I pick up one of these? Holy cow, I got two of each. Oh, the pirate spacesuit actually gives me. It offers less physical, but it offers a crap load of thermal and corrosive protection. But I lose airborne and radiation. What's the trade off there? Maybe I'll take one of those, drop one of these. Oh my gosh, you're 6,000 a pop. O2 is consumed with exertion such as sprinting, melee. Okay, I gotta get rid of something. So maybe I'll drop one of these suits here. How do you drop? Or oh, just like in Skyrim. Okay, so I dropped a suit. So I shouldn't be encumbered anymore. Wait a minute, that's valuable. I picked up some clothing apparels. Do I need to keep those? Do I really need this? No. Hazmat suit. That's pretty good, but it does offer no physical protection. Nope. I'll drop this. I will pick. I will pick this thing back up. I think it's worth more. Do I have enough? Yes. I'm just skimming off the. Med pack and a Grendel. Holy cow. I think we are we're maxing out a new weapon right here. And the Equinox. Oh look at that. Favorite this puppy. Right there. And the Grendel. Oh there's a Kraken. What is this? No guts. No mat. What does that say? No gods, no masters. Kraken. What does the Eon do? 11. This only does 3. Really? Holy cow. What a junk. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. This Grendel does only 3 as well. What a junker. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just noticing now. I'm going to put it on my weapons. Anyhow. I have seven of these, so I'm going to drop a few of these because these are just probably a ton of weight. 
what is their mass? 4.15. Okay, I'm going to drop a few. Uh, I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop almost all of them. Actually, I did. I almost dropped all of them. Left, just left one. So that brought me down to 110. Maybe I'll pick up some more of those as we move further into the base. I'm pretty sure I'll come into contact with more uranium. Ooh, with not more, not more uranium, with more pirates. Oh my gosh, did I just pick up another suit? I don't need another suit. Yeah, let me drop one of these. Okay, I got two of these. Their value is 6,000 a pop. I'm going to hang on to it. Because it, it's worth something. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Did I loot him? Yes. All oh, 693 credits. Wow, that guy had a ton of credits. There's some vials. Pharmaceutical lab. What's a pharmaceutical lab? Oh, there's crafting. It's a medicine crafting pharmacy making. I don't need to make any pharmacy right now. I am over my budgeted time by a ton. So I am going to call it right there, folks. Can't go any further. I have hit the limit. I'm not hit the limit. I've hit the over the limit. So let me come back over here. Holy cow. That must have been the creature that ate those, killed those scientists. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here, folks. Appreciate you joining me on this episode of... Of, um... Gosh, Starfield. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a crazy game. There's a lot here, a lot, a lot for me because I'm I'm actually I'm actually overwhelmed right now. So I'm like trying to figure out what is the priority. What can I do first? What can I not do? And what should I read? Should I not read? Um, but I'm very spastic in play. And if you like my kind of goofball playing, make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new content. And I hope to see you back here next on the next Monday editions when we continue with our journey in Starfield. Until then, have a good one.